late April, I spent several days trying to capture beautiful Australian king parrots that have become residents of our local nature reserve. They had been quite elusive as they normally tend to hide high up in the high density canopies of eucalypts, but luckily after lots of failed attempts, I managed to grab a few short clips as well as several in-flight sequences which I'll be showing you at the end of this video. I think you will really like those. I'll be also sharing images of these beautiful birds from my archive, but before that I'd briefly like to talk about the species first. Male Australian king parrots are the only Australian parrots with a completely red head. Females are similar to males, except that they have a completely green head and breast, very similar in appearance to juveniles. Both sexes have a red belly, a green back with green wings and a long green tail. King parrots are normally encountered in pairs or family groups. They can live for up to 30 years in the wild and they usually mate for life, although sometimes they will swap partners. They are usually found along the east coast and the ranges of Australia, ranging from Cooktown in Queensland through to Port Campbell in Victoria. King parrots are normally found in rainforests or wet sclerophyll forests, which refers to the type of vegetation that is adapted to long periods of dryness and heat. The king parrot mostly forages in trees for seeds and fruit. They normally lay their eggs on a bed of decayed wood dust at the bottom of a deep hollow in the trunk of a tree. Often the entrance to these hollows is high in the tree, up to 10 meters, but the eggs are near the ground, about half a meter above ground level. In the video I'm about to show you, one was foraging while being pestered by a rather aggressive noisy miner. Enjoy. I almost forgot to mention the gear I used for all these images and footage. My camera body was the good old trusted 1DX Mark II and the EF 100-400mm IS2 was my telephoto lens, which I really like as its sharpness is exceptional for a zoom lens. Let's have a look at all the other shots now, including some of the in-flight sequences at the end. The next several images were taken at the same location a few years ago. I was quite happy with the simple compositions in the first two frames, with no clutter in the background. The subsequent shots show another juvenile printing itself and the dappled light really helps elevate the overall look. If I had taken these in flat lighting, they would have looked quite ordinary, I think. The in-flight shots were captured on an overcast day and I had to use higher ISO for properly exposing their relatively dark colored body against the bright background. These two kept circling around eucalypts while being harassed by both magpies and very territorial noisy miners. 